Hello and welcome, my name is Tiana, and today we're gonna do a 20 minute yoga flow. Sometimes you don't have 60 minutes to pull out your yoga mat, you only got 20, so we're gonna make it work. Let's get started. All right, let's get started in a nice comfortable seated position. We're gonna come to the breath first. The breath is the most important thing. We're always gonna come to the breath. Nice comfortable seated position, hands on your thighs. Inhale in through the nose. Hold, exhale out. Inhale in. Hold and exhale, release. Let the shoulders come down. Keeping that core nice and engaged, inhale in. Exhale, release. One more, inhale in. Exhale, release. Bringing those shoulders up towards the ears and letting it fall back. Inhale in and let it release. One more, inhale in. Exhale, let it release. We're gonna bring that right hand off to the side. Left arm swings overhead. Stretch that side body. Bring that arm overhead. Gaze up towards that elbow. And on that exhale, over to the other side. And bring it down. Gonna bring both arms up overhead. On that exhale, bring those hands down. Go ahead and bring them both down in front of you, relaxing your hands. I'm gonna gently walk those hands out in front, coming to that tabletop position. So we wanna be with our shoulders right above our wrists. Our knees are hip distance apart. Untuck the toes. We're gonna to make our circles with our hips. Really move in those knees. Pause and go the opposite way. Continue to breathe. Come into the top. We're gonna to tuck those toes under. Shift the weight back towards the heels. Toe stretch here. Remembering those shoulders away from your ears. Lean forward, press into the hands. We're gonna push back to that first downward facing dog. Maybe invite a slight bend into the knees. We're gonna pedal out our feet. <sighs> Pushing away with our hands. We're rooted into that first and second knuckle. And then bring the heels to stillness. Shift the weight towards the heels. Again, keep that bend in the knee. Bring the gaze towards your hands, forward fold. This is our first one. So plant the hands on the mat, shift the weight into the balls of the feet, slight bend in the knees, allow your shoulders to relax, your head comes down, gaze behind you. Allow your body to be comfortable in this posture. We're working a lot of things here within this pose. Letting your back soften. Backs of those legs are gonna get that stretch. Grabbing opposite elbow, we're gonna hold on to ragdoll pose here. Allow those elbows to come more towards the earth. Gently rock from left to right. Releasing those hands down by our side. We're gonna walk our hands gently up our body, nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Bringing those arms up overhead. And exhale, forward fold again. Hands to shin for flat back. Plant those hands down on the mat. We'll step back to a plank position here. You can always put your knees down as well. We're gonna shift the weight forward, heels over the balls of the feet, and then lower the elbows down together. 
come all the way down on your belly. We're gonna untuck those toes, press into the hands. Activate that back. We're gonna just press into our hands. We're not gonna come up all the way. Gaze is neutral. Exhale, lower the body back down. And push back up. Again, micro bend here. Hands at about a 45 degree angle with your arms. Tucking those toes, shift back towards your tabletop position, and then all the way for your downward facing dog. Bring the gaze towards your hands. Gently walk your feet towards your hands. We're back into that forward fold. On that inhale, come all the way up. Arms overhead, extended mountain. Hands to touch. On that exhale, forward fold. Gonna speed it up just a little bit here. Hands to shin for flat back. Planting your hands down on your mat. Step back and we flow. Again, you don't have to flow. You can meet in downward facing dog if that's comfortable. Bring the gaze towards your hands. Walk your feet towards your hands. Back into that forward fold. Bring those arms up overhead. Extended mountain. And exhale, forward fold. I'm gonna plant the hands down on the mat. We're gonna step that right foot back. We're coming back to coming down to that runner's lunge. So leaning here, see if you can lift that chest gently off the body. Maybe you have your blocks here to give you some leverage to lift your body up. You can also do that as well. On that exhale, I want you to step your front foot back to your downward facing dog. Walk the hands towards the top of the mat, forward fold. On that inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. I'm gonna plant your hands on your shin for a flat back. Plant your hands down on the mat, step the opposite leg back into that runner's lunge. get lifted in the chest. Again, you can have your blocks if that gets you a little bit higher off the ground. Take one more breath and then step the front foot back to meet the back one, downward facing dog. I'm gonna bring that right leg up towards the sky Bend it and bring it through to frame the hand. Pivot that back foot, warrior one. We bend into that front knee. Really want you to feel that stretch. Feel that stretch of your psoas, your hips. Exhale, open up to that warrior two. Nice strong arms here, don't forget. Inhale, reversing your warrior. Feel free to bind. If not, reach that hand down onto your leg. Bring that gaze up. On that exhale, windmill your hands down. We'll step back and flow. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. Bringing the opposite leg up. Bring it through, arching that spine. Bring it through to frame the hands. Pivot your back foot. Come up for your warrior one. Bend into that front knee. Knee tracking right over your ankle. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Feel free to bind. And on that exhale, windmill your hands down. 
we'll step back and we'll flow. I want you to bring that gaze towards your hands. Gently walk your feet towards your hands. We're gonna have a seat in our chair. Now, if this is a lot on your shoulders, feel free to bring those hands down. We wanna get that hip and that back nice and long. So maybe you tuck that tailbone in, shift your weight into your heels. That gaze is neutral, that neck is relaxed. Maybe see if you can squat down just a little deeper. On that exhale, we forward fold. Gonna step that right leg back, come down into that back knee, shift your weight backwards towards that hip. We're gonna bring that front foot out. Flex the toe back towards your body. Maybe you can come up on some blocks here as well. Allow your body to be lifted, your, ch your chest is lifted. You can untuck the back toe or tuck the back toe, whichever one's comfortable. I like to get a little toe stretch as well while we're in that half split. Maybe walking it out just a little bit deeper. On that exhale, bring that foot forward. Gonna take the foot, back foot, and bring it up to the top. Forward fold. Plant your hands down, step the opposite leg back. Come back onto that knee. Gonna untuck the toe or tuck the toe, shift your hips back. Flex your toes back towards your body. Chest is lifted. We're in that half split. Gonna feel this stretch all along the back of that leg. Make sure those shoulders are away from your ears. Maybe get a block here if you need it. And on that exhale, come forward. Bring that back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Bring the arms all the way up, extended mountain, nice and slow. Press into the feet. Arms overhead, hands to touch, slide back, bend here. And exhale, forward fold. We're gonna squat the hips all the way down. Hold the knees in. Bring those hands behind you. Sit on your bottom. Allowing those shoulders to come back. I'm gonna sit here, bringing our body, keeping our body nice and controlled, coming back to that breath. Again, the breath is important. Plant into the feet, we're gonna to begin to lower ourselves all the way down onto our back. Engage that core, tuck the tailbone in, come all the way down, core, 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 and release down. Cross one leg over the other, nice wide figure four cross. Hug the knee in towards the chest, pigeon on our back, hug it in. On that exhale, release your hands down. Take your knees down, uncross your leg, shake it out. We're gonna cross over the opposite leg. Push away with your hands. Hugging that knee in towards the chest, thread your hands behind your thigh. Feel that hip flexor. You're taking your bottom off of the mat. Hugging that knee in as much as possible, wherever you are. And on that exhale, release the hands. Allow the foot to come down. Uncross your legs and shake it up. 
going to walk those fingertips in towards the hand, the fingertips in towards the heels. And we're going to press into the hands and the feet. Push the hips up towards the sky. Bridge pose is really one of those poses that gets everything moving in your body. That lower back, the quads, the hips. Relax your neck. See if you can push a little bit higher. And on that exhale, lower down. Give your knees a rock from left to right. We're gonna press into the feet one more time. Bring the hips up. And this time, see if you can interlace those hands behind you. We're gonna really press into the hands and the feet. Press those hips up. Get it up maybe a little bit higher, engaging your glutes here. Remembering not to put pressure on your neck. And on the exhale, release the hands first. Lower down the hips. Hug your knees into your chest. Going to rock out, release that tension on that lower back. When you're ready, bring those hands out to a T. Let your knees fall over to one side. Turn your gaze opposite of your knees. Let your body release here. Engaging your core, bring your knees up and over to the other side. Letting them fall, keep the knees stacked. Gaze over to the other side. And when you're ready, come back to center. Hug those knees into your chest. Give them a little rock. I'm gonna take the feet up overhead, flex your toes back towards your body. Move those ankles. And then lower your legs down one at a time until both legs get down. Gonna give ourselves a nice stretch, arms up overhead. Wiggle your toes. Then allow your body to come all the way down. We're gonna take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Allow your body to soften. Come back to your breath. Back to your personal intention for your practice. Let your body soften. Really being able to feel that stretch and release of the body. We're no longer holding on to tension. We're letting go with every exhale. I want you to take two more breaths of silence. And when you're ready, gently bringing awareness back into your body, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Hugging those knees into the chest one at a time. And gently rolling over to one side. Cradle your head. And when you're ready to rejoin the world, and use that top hand. Push yourself up into a seated position. Bringing those hands to heart center. I want to thank you for letting me just do this nice gentle practice with you. Nice quick 20 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm glad that you made time for you. Go out there and face the world. Namaste.
one more thing before you go. Don't forget to like this video and also leave me a comment below on how you enjoyed today's practice. I am very, very interested in your journey and how you're enjoying your classes. Please remember to also subscribe to the channel and then also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I go live. I hope to see you in the next video and until then, don't forget to live life with intention.